Welcome to the Wilbur House. The Wilbur House is one of Little Compton's very few surviving 17th century buildings. It's also Little Compton's only museum, um, and we invite you to visit us anytime that works for you. We have regular hours published on our website for the summer season, and you can even visit in the wintertime by appointment. The Wilbur House sits on a beautiful area of farmland that was once called Three Quarter Mile Square. This area was reserved for the Sakonet people by Plymouth officials in 1675, but was very soon taken away from them and settled by English colonists. Two of those colonists were Samuel and Mary Wilbur. They were a young couple just recently married from Portsmouth. Samuel's dad helped them purchase a, a, a wonderful 120 acre farm here in Little Compton. And they bought the land in 1691 and soon built their home. When the Wilbur House turned into a museum in the 1950s, the um, museum committee decided to show the house in different periods of time so you can get a sense of the changes in the Wilbur family history, and that reflects the wider history of Little Compton. On the eastern side of the house, you're going to see a lot of 17th century architecture and early American furnishings. In 1748, the family more than doubled the size of the house with this large 1748 addition. And when the Wilbers lived here, the front of the house would have been uniform with the 12 over 12 windows. The museum committee put these 17th century windows back into place um, in order to give us a more authentic sense of that century. There was an additional addition to the building around 1865. That was two Victorian kitchens. They were filled with wonderful 19th century inventions like cast iron stoves and running water and ice boxes that must have made the lives of the women in the family so much easier. And you ask why two kitchens? Because for much of the history of the Wilbur House, and the Wilbers lived here for six generations and about 225 years, the house was frequently divided into apartments with different nuclear families living in different sections of the house. And they always shared the kitchen, shared the attic, and shared the basement. With the addition of the Victorian kitchens, it was even more of a division with two separate apartments, two separate households living in the house. In 1920, the house was purchased by Azorian dairy farmer Manuel Dialmo. He set up a dairy business on the farm and he rented the house to three local families. In 1955, Dorothy Brayton, who lived in Wanigan, another one of the houses on our house tour, donated $8,000 to the Little Compton Historical Society so that we could purchase the Wilbur House and turn it into a museum. That happened over the course of two years, and the house opened to the public in 1957.